What's good, you two? Welcome back. It's your boy Scalar, and today we got a video called The Destruction of Drake. Right now, Drake is kind of down bad, but we're gonna look into it some more. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. As usual, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. We just hit 8k. Next goal is 9, then 10, then so on and so forth. But yeah, let's get it. So over the last week, or really the last couple of days, we have finally gotten the battle we have been wanting for the greater part of the last two decades. The best true-to-form rapper versus the biggest pop star of our generation. The beef has actually pushed Drake into a very tough position. I'm Facts. talking about people in clubs booing when his music comes on. <laughs> And now the whole internet is clowning. Not gonna lie, I don't. I think this is the first time Drake is being put in this position. Like he don't know what to do. <laughs> he don't know what to do. He continued with the whole like I won't say corny, but like the corny like Instagram stories, the little memes, the he he ha, the ha ha ha. Like bro, you have some serious allegations, bro. Like this is not the time for like little like sneak disses and memes and whatnot, bro. <laughs> this is not the time him and dancing to him being called a creeper even the biggest drake stands in the world what, would what, have what, to what, admit what, this damaged <laughs> his reputation like a big dirty smudge on a brand new pro club t-shirt these are two Damn. artists who i have followed for a very long time and despite their subject matter and overall catalogs being completely different they have always been compared in talks about the best rapper of the generation or the best rapper alive. Gotta he be is the underdog that's extremely hungry. You know what I'm saying? Um, or maybe it was you that was like, is Kendrick Lamar your biggest competition like in this generation or whatever? Yeah. And I think that Kendrick has like the utmost potential. Man. It should be noted here that people used to say the big three rappers were Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole. But recently, Mr. Folds and Clothes went and etched his own face off of that <laughs> monument of rap. But Which, honestly, at the end of the day, was the best de decision that he could have did for himself. He removed himself completely. Like, hey, listen, I know I'm going to get backlash. He even said it himself on stage. Listen, I'm going to get the backlash for this. But I'd rather deal with the backlash for this than what Ken Kendrick potentially has coming up. So, yeah. <laughs> that really might have been in his best interest apparently schoolboy q made the call to j cole's flip phone either way kendrick really did not like the big three buddy buddy ending to this rap fairy tale he did not want to be involved in first person I shooter the single on their little friendship tape kendrick said F that it ain't the big three <laughs> it's big me then of course j cole would infamously reply or really apologize and i know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? In my spirit of trying to like get this music out, what? I ain't going to lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. I want to say right now tonight, Damn. how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? The message was loud and clear that he should bow out gracefully before he got caught Mark in the move. lethal crossfire. <laughs> Go ride your bike, J. Cole, because this has gotten nasty. I'm talking about babies with best friends, Drake Steen allegations. The pot has boiled over, my people. I think a lot of people knew going into this that Drake would be fighting an uphill battle. Yes, he's obviously the more popular artist, but he also has a lot more haters. And when it comes to Kendrick, everything about his career has been so masterfully crafted and planned that you know he was gonna and that's what i'm saying too when people is like oh kendrick lamar go years without like producing or like dropping music and i'm like yeah because he's going through life experience there's some artists right that they prefer quality over quantity and they will prefer to like not drop for a long time i have like good quality like subject to like talk about in your music rather than to just repeat the same thing over and over with a little twist here and there to make it different and yeah so props to him bro they come into this battle prepared drake on the other hand seems more sporadic more all over the place he's had more, more scandals <laughs> it's kind of like drake has been living out boyish fantasy after boyish fantasy 
changing identities every year for the last decade. What happened today, baby? What happened to Kyrie today? Baby? I did what Kobe did in That's Game 7 against the Celtics. Not to say that either one is coming out of this beef squeaky clean smelling like roses. Because like I said, it's gotten nasty. <laughs> but Kendrick came out and straight up punched Drake in the face with this song Euphoria. Then he baited him with the timestamp song, knocked him down on the canvas with Meet the Grams after Drake thought he had a good round, and then Not Like Us is just Kendrick dancing on his grave. That was and don't finisher. get me wrong guys, <laughs> Drake's Family Matters disc was great, but so was Takeover by Jay-Z. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good it was because Kendrick immediately buried it with some scathing accusations a mere 20 minutes after it dropped. I bet Drake <laughs> thought he could finally lay back at the end of the night and it'd all be sweet, probably start again all loaded up, placed a couple of bets, and then Kendrick came in swinging and attacked his family and reputation on one track. Comparing bro, the whole family, the mom, dad, kid, grand, bro. Grandpa bro, the whole family. <laughs> the man to the likes of Weinstein and Carl Malone to name a few. And with Drake's long history of questionable activity with minors, people began resurfacing a ton of clips and pictures and strange tweets. Just watch as a 14 to what? A ton of clips and pictures and strange tweets. Nah, bro. <laughs> Just watch as a 14 to 15 year old Wait, Millie what? Bobby Brown explains her relationship with the then 32-year-old Drake and how they met. I met Drake in an Australian hotel. I was touring and You can't just open up and be like, yes, I met Drake at an Australian hotel. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you can't just open up. That can't be the opening line. I'm sorry, bro. He was touring too and he, honestly, his manager just came up to my dad and said, Drake loves the show, come to a show tonight. And I was like, are you joking me? Drake? He wants to see me? And I was like, okay, we're going. So I like got my outfit prepared and went there and, and he was such a fanboy and I was such a fangirl that we, and honestly we text all the time now. He helps me with everything, like just life. My si you're 32 texting how old? Bro. Bro, nah, bro. Drake, you're out of here, Lessons. Bro. <laughs> and we went to dinner afterwards, and we had dinner the next day, and then we met in Sydney. I don't know about y'all, but that's some weird shit to yeah, me that's for weird, a 32 year old bro. man to want to wine and dine a 14 year old inviting her to his shows. And then to be straight up texting her like direct communication is even more out of pocket, but it somehow gets worse. I love him. I met him in Australia and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great uh, great role model. You know, we text, we just text each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Oh yeah. my God. Oh, nah, bro. That was the icing on the cake. Bro, Drake GG's, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's wonderful. I love What's him. his advice with boys? You know, that stays in the text messages. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him, 4K. <laughs> she, she got your ass. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what the hell was that? I mean, to be fair, both of these guys have alleged some absolutely disgusting things against each other, and so far, neither of them has really shown any evidence. Bro, and I do memes. feel like if someone could still come forward with proof of what they say, I think that would automatically give them the W and make the other person look really foolish. The receipts. What's this, you fucking piece of shit? <laughs> What's this? Bro, ADP gonna live on forever on the internet, bro. There's nothing this man can do that gonna get him canceled. I'm at this point, that's what I believe, bro. Okay, it's no way this man over here is still relevant after all the stuff that he's been caught with and been doing, bro. There's no way he's still around, bro. <laughs> Do you guys realize that Kendrick sing. got him to take the bait three different times? First with the like that single, he knew that Drake's ego could not handle hearing it's just big me. Kendrick knew that record was also hot enough to get Future in the mix and that it would climb to the charts quickly, which is already mm. him beating Drake at his own numbers game. Then of course he scared J. Cole so much he left the lobby. Then Drake responds <laughs> by calling Kendrick a midget with small feet while also mentioning his wife Whitney by name. Still, people like the record. Of course, they clowned Kendrick. He then waited a few weeks to plan out his response and dropped the Euphoria record. 
where for the first time ever he would call Drake out by name. This song was really him showing off his entire range, people really loved it, and it was making quite the buzz on social media. Yeah, everyone was like, ooh, okay now, why do you have to say Drake? And then the back and forth, bro, that was such a good time. <laughs> it's again Drake's game. And so Drake takes a couple of days, which people force DJ Academics to count, and he eventually comes through with a long response, where he chooses to address several people like Rick Ross and ASAP Rocky. But of course, the main person that people cared about him addressing was Kendrick. Well, Drake ended up calling him out for beating on his wife, and also claimed that she cheated on Kendrick and had a baby with his right-hand man, Dave Free. Drake That's even tough. went out and got the good kid Mad City Van just to crush it for his music video. But here is where Kendrick actually trapped him in the corner. Because only 20 minutes later, he would release Meet the Grams, stomping all over Drake's actually very good record where he rapped really well. I'm talking about him and his whole family catching heat, and his hmm. friends being called out as a group of bad people who prey on vulnerable <laughs> women. Also claiming that Drake apparently has an 11-year-old daughter, just like when Pusha T forced Drake to reveal his son. And at first, Damn. Drake would once again respond on his Instagram page saying that And that's that what he... really makes it believe, that's what people really start to believe that he might actually have a daughter too, because at first he was trying to hide his son. And then Pusha T was like, listen, you know you got a son, you got to tell these people. And then that's how he came out. He was like, I was just trying to hide... My son from the world. I don't try to hide the world from myself. It's some some light skin reply bullshit, but yeah. <laughs> she needs to crazy. see this eleven year old daughter of his. Either way, the damage had already been done. Drake fans were scrambling for answers. And then of course the following morning we would get the kill shot that had people dancing to Kendrick straight up calling him a PDF file. Then the next day, Drake of course releases From the Heart 6, a play on the popular Kendrick Lamar series of songs. And this response started out somewhat strong, but it quickly derailed. I am a war general seasoned in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals honored in decoration. This man was ready for battle. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the- He, he said all that, right? At the opening lines, I'm like, oh, he, he's a war general. He, yeah. A defensive track, not even a dish, a defensive track, bro. Like, come on. Information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or destination, but you so thirsty, you're not concerned with investigation. So mm. he's saying that Kendrick is full of shit, as are his allegations, and that they tricked his ass and he took the bait. I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why mm. isn't Whitney denying all the allegations? The allegations he's talking about are the same. That Kendrick's wife cheated and had a child with his friend, and that Kendrick got in trouble for putting hands on his wife, with people claiming that he hired a media team to make the story disappear. This is what Kendrick had to really? say about it back in an old Breakfast Club interview. There was a shocking story about you, and I was like, there's no way this is true. Yeah. When they said you were in Vegas and you beat some guy bloody and you did something to some female. Yeah. And they said they had evidence and all of this, and then I never heard anything about it again. Yeah, because it's foolishness. Mm -hmm. That's the most ignorant stuff I've ever heard made up. On, I was like, on, on, Kendrick on did that? Name. I doubt it. And, you know. I don't think it's... I, Kendrick don't even look like the type to even put hands on a female, honestly. Honestly, like this man out here doing push-ups, <laughs> exercising, bro. This man does be doing his own thing. Like Drake is more like the type to be putting hands on a female, bro. Like to be honest, that person who ever made that up owes an, an apology, not to me, but to women that actually go out there and get abused. Because I was apology. like, I'm sure if that happened, they'd have been a police report. You yeah, would have been man. arrested. That's foolishness. That's 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 ignorant. Dave leaving heart emojis under pics of the child. Speaking of anything with the child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit that I expected. Like, why would you expect that? Why would you think Kendrick would be on his Chris Hansen? I don't know. Because it's true, bro. That's what you expected. All right, he gonna come with facts, then I'm gonna try and dig up some facts too. <laughs> It's just weird to me that he thought someone would accuse him of being a creep. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I. Oh, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got my Like, what the f is this dude talking about? He's making light of sexual He then goes on to claim this is why Kendrick is calling him a predator. Oh, f me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. Mm. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection so neglected. This why these 
pedophile raps and shit you're so obsessed with, it's so excessive. Continuing to make fun of him several times over the course of this song, for getting violated as a child. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting. <laughs> Which didn't even happen by the way, at least according to the song that Drake is referencing here. Kendrick does have a record on his last album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers called Mother I Sober. It is the climax of the soundtrack, the song the whole album really builds up to. Mr. Mm. Morale in general is a serious record that covers a lot of sensitive topics. In the song, Kendrick tells that one of his cousins was violating people in his family, and his mother questioned him whether he had been violated himself. Family ties, they accused my cousin. Did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he didn't. Kendrick explicitly states here that he was not touched, and the real message is that his mother was paranoid and thought there was no way it could not have happened due to trauma from her past where she was violated herself. Damn. Drake not only misinterprets this lyric, but also uses it as some sort of own. Like, read the room, dude. Look what you're being accused of. And then more cringe ensues because I've never heard anyone have to rap about not being a pr I mean, the fact that Kendrick <laughs> backed him into that corner and put him on the defense is monumental in why he's winning this battle. Just for Facts. clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was f***ing young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for that shit you just suggested. Which is just an insane thing to yeah. say, considering the more power- I mean, I mean, Epstein is a billionaire. Uh, look what happened. Like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> that didn't make- That bar, that line, that bird, bro. I don't know what he got going on, but that was not it. The <laughs> powerful and famous you are, the more you can get away with this nasty shit. Look at the countless examples of weirdos in the entertainment industry. Crazy. Drake is not a name that you're gonna see on no sex offender list. No, it would be Aubrey Graham. Only f***ing with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Brown's. I never looked twice at no teenager. And people called this a guilty conscience coming to light. Right. As Kendrick had never name dropped Millie Fat Bobby lie. Brown or said Stranger Things or any allusion to this being who he was exactly talking about when it came to a minor. Obviously, the Drake being a creep rumor started back when she said they were close and texting when she was only 14, as I showed you earlier. Personally, I don't think any father should be comfortable with their teenage daughter Hell being no. in direct contact with someone 17 years older than herself. And there's several other instances where Drake is seen being quite peculiar with young women, but obviously nothing concrete. The rest of Drake's diss just consists of the same things he said in his Family Matters record. He also spends a minute going into a spoken word, which is just really bad. To me, this <laughs> better not be the end of the battle for Drake, because this record was weak. I mean, he had no choice but to more or less defend himself, but this was bad. I mean, Drake fans everywhere drop to their knees after hearing this one. Because at least in the court of public opinion, Drake has already been crowned the loser. Which is a position we've never seen him in before. Yep. And the craziest thing about craziest this beef to me too. is that Drake is the one who actually welcomed Kendrick into the game back in the early 2010s. As he gave him that major placement on his album Take Care. And it really is crazy to me how prophetic that song now is. Okay, so the song is called Buried Alive, and it's about Kendrick learning about and adjusting to fame through the lens of Drake walking him through the industry door. I'm in the matter of man, arm wrestling hands, I was dope when I said the music business was all I needed. When I died, I was greeted by an alien that said last year that she slept with a Canadian that gave him mm. an addiction that'd keep him in Mercedes Benz. Here he's already talking about Drake Slide. and his lust for material possession and women. This person who greets him probably wants Kendrick to follow a similar fate. My vice is similar. Women love when you're my type and you're winning from everything that your palm right. Put her in the palm, so tell Sin City, Devil in Dress, Platinum Chanel. Live the ambiance or cause the audience said one day I would do it. So instead of a verse being read, I'ma go and get some head off the strength of my music. Fame is making Damn. Kendrick a degenerate and turning him away from his religion. It's hard to not become a different person once your ego finally gets massaged. And I'm glad Kendrick is the man who he is now and didn't change because of the music industry. And that's why I'm a Drake. I'm a big fan of Kendrick. And that's why I'm on Kendrick's side, bro. Because the man didn't switch. Bro, Drake over the years had like 20 different personalities, bro. It seemed like every year he has a new thing going on. Like, I don't know if it's boredom. Is he just too rich at this point? Like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Same day we say we in the area cruising in Toronto. Hit me on my cellular. I thought he was going to sell me a false word like the rappers I know. 
Sat down with a few drinks located where you can't see us. A white waitress on standby when we need her. Drake picks mm. up Kendrick and takes him around to industry people, showing him the fast life of fame and women. Felt like the initiation, a reality living in the matrix. We talk casually about the industry and how the women be the tastemakers for the shit he making. Then he said he was the same age as myself and didn't help cause it made me even more rude and impatient. Kendrick Damn. now lusts for what Drake has and is jealous because he has accomplished more at the same age. This only further pushes his envy and hunger for more fame and notoriety. So blame it on Mr. OVOXO, the reason why I'm breathing all the vanity I know. The reason why my best friend says she loved me more than life, but I live a double life, I need to let it go. The reason why the highlight was when he said you belong to the people when you outside. So dig a show full of money, full of power, full of pussy, full of fame, and bury yourself alive. Then I died. Kendrick literally just laid out the life that he could have had if he went the same Bro, direction Kendrick as Drake. Is a different because beast. at the time, <laughs> they were both still very green with wide eyes. And Drake really steered full force into fame and a lust for all things that people crave. While Kendrick really fought the temptation and stayed as humble and normal as possible. He's just always been the more calculated artist. Yes, Drake has of course been bigger. Like I said, he's the biggest pop star of our generation. But I knew when it came down to if one was going to outthink the other, it would likely be Kendrick. I'm sure a lot mm -hmm. of you disagree with me. I definitely want to know nah, down agree, below in bro. the comments. I know it's going to be a war zone. Because I feel like this has been one of those things where almost no one is just neutral. Obviously, both men have gone really far to kind of stretch the truth in these situations. And if anyone can come forward with some undeniable concrete proof of their allegations, that might flip this whole thing around and Drake could come back and win. But either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and think subscribing. This concrete proof, but though. as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other legend. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole like beef war or whatnot. Yeah, and yeah, I'll see you for the next one.